Welcome to our poster presentation, which is about the approach we use to promote French reading skills in a virtual kindergarten in a 50% English and a 50% French setting. The authors of this poster presentation are myself, Susie Chetat, a French teacher with the Ottawa Carleton Virtual School, and Lisa Longchamp, an early childhood educator with the Ottawa Carleton Virtual School. The benefits for students that know how to read are plentiful and well documented. In the Ontario Kindergarten Program, there are several specific expectations that relate to literacy behaviors for beginning readers. And here I'm just going to go over two specific expectation 1.11. As children progress through the kindergarten program, they demonstrate an awareness that words can rhyme, can begin or end with the same sound and are composed of phonemes that can be manipulated to create new words. And specific expectation 11.8, as children progress through the kindergarten program, they demonstrate knowledge of most letters of the alphabet in different contexts. The current online kindergarten model in Ontario calls for 180 minutes daily synchronous teacher-led virtual instruction and 120 minutes asynchronous learning activities. As instructors that were new to this mode of instruction, we adapted our methods of instruction and assignment of asynchronous activities based on the observations we made in class and outside of class, and we noticed that the method that evolved from our observations promoted the reading skills of our students. The purpose of this presentation is to provide ideas and tools for educators to improve the reading skills of their kindergarten students. The approach we used during synchronous and asynchronous French blocks was as follows. We introduced letters in a playful way using a story with an associated movement. We used Raconte-moi les sons by José Laplante. We practiced new French vocabulary in class with digital games such as memory. And other in-class activities included activities in which all students could participate, such as thumbs up or nod with your head if you hear this letter in the word, or indicate with your fingers which sound is the first letter of a word. Other in-class activities included French songs, rhymes using videos found on YouTube, and breaking up new French vocabulary in syllables on a musical way. Asynchronous lit literacy activities were assigned that could be completed online with little adult assistance. So, for example, locating a certain letter in a picture by and then dragging and dropping a circle on them. Weekly small group meets and individual meets, usually 20 minutes in duration, were held during asynchronous times. And depending on the group, these times were used for letter sound and name recognition games, blending sounds, sideboard identification activities, reading online books together, and introducing more complex sounds such as en, a, and a. We also mod modeled in class and during small group meets how to read by identifying first the phonemes and blending the phonemes to form syllables and then words. We also tried to introduce letter sound recognition in our movement activities. For example, run or jump based on a letter sound set by an educator. Students were provided with access to French language online books. We used the Joli Joli Literacy online reading program. We made several general observations during um, these last months, and I'm just going to go over a few here. So we noticed that some parents were helping their children during in-class instruction and during small group individual meets. And in particular, we noticed that some parents were using the methods um, that we were using to help their children with reading, such as blending sounds and breaking down words into smaller parts. We also noticed that asynchronous activities that could be completed online that required little parent involvement were more likely to be submitted on Google Classroom. Small groups and individual meets were found to be very beneficial as immediate feedback and differentiated instruction could be provided. Adaptations such as using an online shared whiteboard or the chat feature were found beneficial to help students struggling with the virtual medium with letter sound recognition 
during individual meets. Now I'd like to go over some other findings that are based on the assessments that we carried out in October and April. After seven months, 45% of all the students were able to blend phonemes and syllables to read words and recognize sight words and were reading books of the Magenta A book series on the online reading program. 80% of these students knew most or all the French letter sounds in October 2020 and 10% of these students knew how to read in English but not in French at the time indicating that letter sound recognition at the beginning of the school year was an important factor when it came to advancing the reading skills of these students to the observed level. 70% of the students also completed almost all or all assigned asynchronous activities posted on Google Classroom, while 80% of these students accessed the online reading program at home, suggesting that these type of activities also help to promote the reading skills of the students. After seven months, another 14% of the students in the class were able to blend two letter sounds. Out of this 14%, 9% was also able to recognize some French side words. After seven months, 23% of all the students in the class were able to recognize the sounds of all or almost all the letters seen in class. To conclude, we observed that a combination of various methods that were adapted to the virtual learning environment promoted the reading skills of our students. We found that weekly small groups and individual meets during asynchronous periods to be particularly beneficial in improving the reading skills and letter sound recognition of the students. The students also profited from access to an online reading program at home and completing the assigned asynchronous activities. The involvement of parents was also a contributing factor to the observed results. Some of the parents used the methods employed by the educator team to help their children learn to read, leaving us to believe that parents with children at the primary level would likely benefit from having access to videos showing how to help beginning readers with their reading skills. Thank you for listening to our presentation.